it's Ruthie Rocks, and it's another day in paradise in sunny Las Vegas. <sighs> Hope everybody's doing great today. It is woohoo Friday. We love Fridays. That means whoops. That means we have uh, two days to work and show houses and get listings and. Uh, perhaps not have as many interruptions, at least if you're a broker, that's the case. Um, but we love interruptions. I love questions. When agents don't ask me questions, believe me, I worry. <laughs> I worry. So good morning, everybody. What is going on? Oh, I think it's Friday the 13th. Oh, my goodness. Don't, I don't, have we had another one this year? Maybe. Maybe. I can't remember now. I tell you, the years go by so, so fast. The days go by so fast, and uh, it's just amazing. What's going on? Well, let's see. Not such a happy listing day yesterday. <laughs> we only listed 68 single-family homes. And I like it over 100 because we're selling, you know, an average of 115 homes a day. And I know that includes condos and and townhomes, but we only listed 76 in those three groups yesterday. We put 106 under contract, so there's a lot less that we uh, sold than we listed. Uh, we closed 97, and of course, like I predicted yesterday, our days of inventory have gone down to 25. Yes, not too bad, not too bad. We can handle that. Um, the 24 of the 68 single family homes that you listed yesterday were under 400,000, which now totals under 400,994 active listings under 400,000. And I think that's the, this is the first day it's been under a thousand. Yeah, this is the first day it's been less than a thousand. So, um, People were buying those homes, as we know, 130 people moving here every day, and 45% are coming from where? California. So let's see where we are here. Yeah, we're doing 115 average closings a day, and last year we were doing 94. Um, I updated the uh, current medium to 405,000. So if you bought a home in January for 365,000, you gained 40,000 in equity in just seven months. And that's quite a return in your investment. <clears throat> and the interest rate is still hovering around 3%. So you can still um, buy a $400,000 home. And if you put 10% down, your principal interest insurance and tax will be around $850. And that is not bad at all. <laughs> not bad at all. Uh, interest rates will inch up. Um, but uh, like I said, we've got 17 really, really good months here for everybody to, to buckle down and, and, uh, and really hustle. Now, a lot of times August to me is a good time to do that because it seems like the market in some, in, in some ways slows down a little bit. <clears throat> However, you know, it could be a busy time for you. And, you know, it has rhythms and cycles depending on your marketing and things like that. But if, if your things are going to slow down a little bit between now and Labor Day, perhaps because of school, because of people going on vacations, it's a good time to, to get your goals together. And yesterday, Jimmy and I did the Be, be the CEO of Your Life class. And the first thing you all have to do, and I'll just give you this tip today, is you've got to know what your personal expenses are. So this may be the month to sit down with, you know, with your family and determine how much money you're spending and what you're spending it on and where perhaps you can shave some of those expenses. Because as we go forward with the, uh, with the COVID situation and the market, um, we, you just have to be prepared and don't be spending all your money. And if you get a $10,000 check, you need to put, you know, 3000 of it somewhere for your taxes. And you need to put 3000 probably into your business account and maybe take, take 4,000 home and see if you can live on that. And if you can't, you need to determine how you're going to make more money because you have to pay your taxes and you have to build up your business account. And that business account can eventually become a savings account or, uh, you know, maybe you're going to, um, it's just a good, it's a good place to keep your money because then you know you have it because your personal life is taken care of. <clears throat> so everybody needs to have 
in my opinion, and I'm not a CPA. Good morning, Frank. Good morning. Good to see you. Let's see. Let's give Frank a shout out here. Good morning, Frank. So anyway, um, what I was going to say is that 3000 a month that you're saving can be savings. It can be maybe you're going to need a new car. But when you keep it in your business account, when you put it in there to begin with, then when you go to spend it, even if you end up giving yourself some more money for something personal that you need, you know, you have it where if you spend it for business, it becomes a tax deduction. And the other thing I was going to say is you do need to have a business account. <laughs> yeah, happy Friday. Uh, you do need to have a business account and you really need to be a sub chapter S corporation. Check with your CPA though. But what we found in the past and what we've been advised <clears throat> by our CPA is that that way you save on the self-employment tax. Uh, if, if, you're, if your entity is a sub chapter S corporation. And of course you have to put that, uh, you should put that on your license so that your broker makes your checkout to, you know, like uh, uh, Frank Burke, um, uh, PC or, you know, whatever the personal corporation or whatever your uh, entity is, it should be your name and then the type of entity. It can be Ruth Albrand LLC, for instance, or Ruth Albrand, you know, PC. But then your broker, because it's on your license, that that's who they make your checks out to. 